Hey guys, it's your boy, Alvin. <laughs> this week I'm gonna be doing something never before attempted on YouTube. Completely original. You guessed it, I'm going to be vlogging my week. So I'm not gonna lie, I already feel embarrassed carrying around a huge camera and talking to it in public with people staring at me and everything, but I know I'll look back one day and I'll be thankful that I did it. It'll be fun seeing how my weeks were, what I did for fun, what stressed me out, etc, etc. So it's Saturday afternoon, and as you can tell by my attire, I just got back from the gym. This is my typical attire, nine days out of the week, so everybody that sees me or knows me knows that I look like crap 120% of the days out of the week. So ever since the start of the semester, due to some rather pleasant circumstances, I decided to get on a diet. A uh, rather crazy diet, I have to admit. Every single day, I've only been eating one time. Post-workout, I've been eating essentially the same thing every single day. I eat like half a pound of chicken, a cup of rice, and a cup of beans. And then I drink a protein shake, some chips, salsa, to like give myself at least a little bit of flavor. It comes out to be around 1,200, 1,300 calories. So far, I've lost about 17 pounds from the beginning of the semester. I don't feel like I've ever been in this great of shape in my life. And I think it really is attributed to my meal prepping and making my own food. I mean, food is fuel for me now compared to what it used to be. So I just got out of the shower, and I'm not exactly going to start studying yet. Something special and unique about my approach to medical school is that I take a full day, full 24 hours, from school. I make sure that from Friday night to Saturday night, I do absolutely no studying, no thinking about school or classes, anything of the sort. During those 24 hours, I do things for myself, just things that I really want to do. Examples of things that I might do, are play music, explore the city, maybe clean up my apartment if I have to, hang out with friends, and actually right now what I'm gonna be doing is editing my video for the Benny Puncture Lab. Anyways, we're taking those 24 hours away from school. It's made my productivity skyrocket. Things that would usually take me a full day only take me the morning to study and go over. Taking that one day away from school has undoubtedly been my number one key to success, my secret to success in medical school. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to editing this video because the night is quickly approaching and that means I need to start studying again. All right, so there's been a slight change of plans. I should be studying right now, but my friend organized an anime night, so you know what, I have to go support. So whenever I don't match into a residency program, I'll remind him of tonight and he'll have to support my broke ass the rest of my life. Yo, what's up guys? Max here. This is my awesome house tour. Let me just focus that right there. Casey Neistat here. <laughs> Welcome to my apartment in New York. I'm like super rich. Oh, these are, these are my friends. What's up? Oh my god, am I going to be nice. on YouTube? Um, I'm vlogging this week. <laughs> oh, dang. Uh, oh, wow. It's Sunday morning now, and anime night went pretty late. It was longer than I expected, and so now I have to make sure I study hard and really catch up on all the material of the week, or else I'm gonna be screwed for the quiz and for the test down the line. So, I'm trying to go through all of my lectures, but right now, right now I'm also trying to watch some football at the same time, so we'll see how productive I actually am. So I'm back from the gym now, and same thing as always, just gonna eat and watch house, because always gotta be studying. Is it sweet, man? Yeah. 
Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so it's been an extremely, extremely long day of studying. It's around 10 o'clock right now, and I still haven't finished going over all of the lectures of the week. And I'm usually done with everything, like second pass by like five o'clock or something. So I haven't been this far behind since like last semester. I'm really scared, but when there's a will, there's a way. I'll figure it out. But anyway, something that's taking precedence and more important right now is getting season pass tickets to Six Flags. It's funny because I haven't had a season pass since high school. What better time now than in medical school that I'm the most busy I have ever been in my entire life. So this is gonna be really fun. Six of us are getting season passes. I am so, so excited. Yo, I'm gonna be taking study breaks and go study in line, ride a roller coaster. Hell yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna get back to studying. See you tomorrow morning. All right, so I slept like four hours last night and it took me forever to get ready. So I really need to go to school and keep on studying because I really feel like I'm gonna do bad on this quiz, but we'll see. I still took to get that 100, so let's get it. So I just got out of lecture and I always make sure I come to school in workout clothes because if I don't, then I will not have the motivation to leave the comfort of home, the comfort of my bed, to go back out and exercise. So this is why I look like trash nine days out of the week. I just got back from the gym and I decided to reward myself for doing well on the quiz, but even though I got a 100 on the quiz, like, I don't know, like, I still feel extremely iffy about the material and I don't know, I just don't feel at peace with it. And so I'm extremely worried for this test. I don't know, I just have so much anxiety for it. The good thing is that I'm not being overconfident and that's not gonna come back and bite me in the butt. So I'm gonna make sure I stay extremely anal and go over everything a million times because I will not let myself get compliant and lazy with my grade. So I decided to reward myself with a sandwich because I'm tired of eating chicken and I worked my butt off this weekend. Like two days, just sleeping four hours. The weekend is usually whenever I catch up on sleep. I sleep better during the week usually than I did this weekend. I really hustled, so gotta celebrate your successes. So I was so busy this past weekend, didn't have the chance to cook. I wasn't able to meal prep, so now I gotta make up for it right now. If I don't have my meals ready, I'm going to resort to eating out all the time, use up all my money, lose all my progress. This is where the stability in my life comes from. All starts with food. All right, so now that that's done, it's gonna take about six hours for it to cook. So I have some time to study and do other things before I have to cook the chicken and the rice and stuff. So let's get it studying. Just a little insider of how I study. For each lecture that we have, we usually have four in a day. They usually give us a handout and it has a whole bunch of learning objectives and it gives us pretty much all the information that we're expected to know on the exam. For example, my lecture this morning is 22 pages long. So I, I pull up two documents side to side and then I'll go through and I'll summarize what I think the important parts are from the document they give me from school into my own. And then so I'll go through that with all the lectures. At the end of the week, I will go ahead and then I'll print them out. So the classes this semester haven't been as intense as last semester. For example, the class we're in right now, respiratory, is only three weeks. And then the class we had before this, hematology, was only two weeks. First semester, we only had two classes and each one was eight or nine weeks. So it was a crazy amount of material. I look back and I'm amazed at how much I've learned in such 
a little bit of time and I can't believe I like actually like took the time to go through all of this. I really need to get a binder and put it all inside. And that's my method. I don't know, it works for me. So I have to go through and finish typing up my handouts for today's lectures while my food cooks have to multitask and stay, stay productive.